Shalom. Kah Laimla Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rekakadash. All praises be to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, and pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad and double honors and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson entitled Let These Curses Be Upon Them and Their Children. And we're going to talk about that briefly and what that means. So in the Bible, everything has a left and right hand to it. And on the right hand side, there are punishments associated with committing crimes against the word, against a pure doctrine, like taking down videos or murmuring against the word and the men of the Lord. Mocking and scoffing and fighting against Bible prophecy. So the Bible says that the serpent was the most subtile beast of the field. It's talking about a people, a race, a bloodline. That spirit went through Cain and through Esau, Edom. So I did a lesson that was taken down concerning this man. And I won't go into details. They took the video down. And then they sent me this email this morning. Look at this. Hi there. We're reaching out because members of the YouTube community, including fellow creators, viewers, or staff are worried about your safety or well-being after coming across content you posted with reference to or actual suicide or self-harm behavior. It's not uncommon to turn to suicidal thinking and self-harm as ways to cope with painful emotions. Talk to someone or try talking to someone that can help you during this process or help you process these emotions, as well as get support through a difficult time. We encourage you to use these resources, a suicide helpline. You have got to be kidding me. I don't know if they're planning something or what, but this is ridiculous. Well, they're taking down videos that are that attacks our First Amendment rights to freedom of speech. Okay, I mean, this is ridiculous. Falsely accusing us. Let's go to Psalms 109. So this, this is a prayer against the wicked Edom and the children of Edom. Right hand side curses. And we're going to pray them that they will come into fruition. Pray, so shall it be. Or Aman, so shall it be. You want to play with the word of the Most High. And you want to mess with those that are anointed to teach this word. Let's start here from the top. The book of Psalms, chapter 109, verse 1. Hold not thy peace, O power of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are open against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. 
What is this? What is this propaganda email that I received? Taking down a video that had nothing to do with me or the men of the Lord teaching this word. Let's go back to that. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are open against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They compass me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. So we are being accused of hate speech for teaching the Bible, identifying Esau Edom as the wicked, as the culprits or the villain on the earth in the Most High's movie, and identifying that salvation is for the remnant of the hopeful elect of the house of Israel. Let's go to verse 4. For my love, they are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. And they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. How are we showing love? We're showing love by teaching pure doctrinal truth. That's showing charity and love by teaching the word of the Most High in its purity, its rare, raw form. And they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Set thou a wicked man over him and let Satan stand at his right side. That's the right-hand side curse right there. And we pray this into existence through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. So they're going to be taken by evil. Evil means bad times. So Psalms 109, verse 6. Set thou a wicked man over him and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned, and let his prayer become sin. So this is condemnation. Verse 8. Let his days be few, and let another take his office. So that office is occupied right now by the tabernacles of Edom. And that office is going to be occupied by the tabernacle of David. Let his days be few and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. So the culprits know who they are attacking this word, attacking the truth, accusing us of hate, accusing us of medical misinformation, accusing us of violent speech. So I guess the Bible is violent speech or unrighteous. I guess the Bible is unfair. Well, guess what? It is true in its pure form. Let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. Let his children be continually vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. Who's going to be made desolate? Let's go to Malachi 1 <coughs> and 4. Malachi 1. Let's go to verse 
So I guess this is forbidden speech too by YouTube. Malachi 1, verse 2. I have loved you, saith the Lord, yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I love Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. So this happened during King David's time and during the medieval or dark ages. It's going to happen again. It's going to be laid waste by these nuclear missiles. That's the judgment against the daughter of Babylon and those following her ways. So it's ruled over by Edom, the border of wickedness, pursuant to Psalms chapter 137. The daughter of Babylon is ruled by the wicked. Let's go to verse 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. The what? The desolate places. Let's read it again. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. And that indignation is a righteous anger tied to a righteous hatred. Let's go back to Psalms 109. So their habitation, their rulership, their dominion is going to be laid Desolate, thus saith the Lord, thus shall it be in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's go back to Psalms 109, verse 10. Let his children be continually vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. Let the extortioner catch all that he hath, and let the stranger spoil his labor. The other nations are going to spoil him. Take all that he has. And that starts with the house of the tabernacle of David. The reaper, the laborer is going to, we're going to get that. Let's go ahead and get it now. Amos 9, Amos chapter 9, verse, verse 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. See? So the elect kings of Jacob, the tabernacle of David, is going to be rebuilt. It's being built right now. And the tabernacles of Edom, the daughter of Babylon, is going to be laid desolate. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes, him that soweth seed. And the mountains shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt. The hills are their rulerships, their government and dominion. Let's go to verse 12. That they may possess the remnant of Edom and of all the heathen which are called by my name, saith the Lord that doeth this. So the plowman is talking about the sons of Jacob. The poor is going to overtake the reaper. That is the rich man and the rich man, poor man parable. And the poor man is Jacob, Lazarus. Let's go back to Psalms 109. 
Psalms 109, verse 10. Let's go back here. Verse 10. Let his children be continually vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. See, so the tabernacles of Edom is going to be brought down to the graves. Verse 11, let the extortioner catch all that he have and let the strangers spoil his labor. What strangers? In this context, the tabernacle of David is going to spoil him and take him down. The plowman, the sons of Jacob. Let there be none to extend mercy unto him. Neither let there be any to favor his fatherless children. So they're going to be chased out of the world. Brought to nothing. Matter of fact, let's go to um, Job, Job 20. The book of Job, chapter 20. Let's go to verse 28. All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. So ill, evil, bad times. And that tabernacle, the tabernacles of Edom, that's the dominion we're under right now. The beast or the great red dragon, a global order. Let's go to verse 27. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. The heaven is talking about the spiritual temple of the Lord. What's that? The tabernacle of David, his elect. That's the heaven. Why you think, Yahweh I said, know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High and the kingdom of heaven is in you. So it's talking about a people of the elect of the house of Jacob. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. And that fire not blown is talking about these nuclear missiles. That's the fire not blown that's going to be kindled upon his tabernacle. Let's go back to Psalms. 109. So these are spiritual curses. Verse 12. Let there be none to extend. Let there be none to extend mercy unto him. Neither let there be any to favor his fatherless children. Let his posterity be cut off. And in the generation following, let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with the Lord. And let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before the Lord continually that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth. Why, Lord? because that he remembered not to show mercy, but persecuted the poor and needy man, that he might even slay the broken in heart. Who is the broken hearted, the downtrodden, the sons of Jacob, the Israelites? Let them be before the Lord continually, that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth because that he remembered not to show mercy, but persecuted the poor and needy man, that he might even slay the broken in heart. So these are dedicated towards the wicked. Let's go to Job. Job.
27. Let's go to verse 13. This is the portion of a wicked man with the most high and the heritage of oppressors, which they shall receive of the Almighty. If his children be multiplied, it is for the sword, and his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. Those that remain of him shall be buried in death, and his widows shall not weep. Let's jump down to verse 21. The east wind carrieth him away, and he departeth, and as a storm hurleth him out of his place. So that wind is destructive winds. The nuclear blast creates radiation and destructive winds. Verse 22, for, <clears throat> for God shall cast upon him and not spare. He would fain flee out of his hand. Men shall clap their hands at him and shall hiss him out of his place. Beautiful. Well, they're going to be brought down to desolation, the graves of the earth, brought down to a proverbial graveyard, the tombstones of a memorial of how not to live, becoming a monument of wickedness. Let's go to Job 21. Let's go to verse 31, who shall declare his way to his face and who shall repay him what he have done? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is. And declaring this in the face of the beast, the European Union, NATO, America, the image of the ancient pagan empires. Verse 32, yet shall he be brought to the grave and shall remain in the tomb. Beat, beat to powder, the dust of confusion. And this is Bible prophecy. We're being ruled under by the wicked. Edom, Romans. Job 9 and 24 says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? I'm going to show you. See? I told you, I told you, look at Eve, look at Eve, unbelievable. Wait a minute, let me go back, so another one with Eve in it. Look at Moab. Okay. So the Bible is ident identifying who is destroying the earth. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Hopefully, this has been an edifying lesson. Rakatham, Shabbat Shalom. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwam Yasharala. And abide the bow. We got next, Lord willing. Shalom. This is Eve and the serpent right here.